Welcome back to the channel guys. Today we're going to be doing a video on how to scan to an email using Office 365 or Outlook SMTP servers. So without any further ado, let's get started. So this video is not going to be in very details. I hope you have a very basic understanding of how things are. And if not, please go ahead and go ahead and check out uh, other other video that is ha has very detailed things on how to you know go through and check each of these things that are listed here. So step one, well, we need to make sure you have a uh, uh, machine laptop with Windows 7, 8, yeah, you know, 8.1 and above. Uh, step two, we need to know the IP address of your unit. Now, if you don't know, I'm gonna go through it very fast on your on your machine by itself. Uh, click on settings, network settings, TCP/IP settings, IPv4, uh, you know, and IP IP address settings, and then click on the view view settings, and and that is gonna give you your IP address. Again, if you don't know how to get these, uh, you can go into a very detailed video on, on the one I've created for Gmail. Also, you you can get that by going to Control Panel, Device Printers, uh, going to the printer, and uh, right clicking on the printer that you print to, and um, once you right click on that printer, you can click on the properties and go to the port port tab and wherever you see a checkbox, uh, that's what that's where you're gonna find your IP address. Also, th third thing you're gonna need is your default uh, username and password. If you if you know that, if you don't, then I'm gonna give you a list where you can we can try those. And if you already have that, then it's gonna be great. Uh, but other than that, uh, other than other than wasting any more time, let's go ahead and get going. Uh, so I already know what my uh, you know IP address is, which is in my case is 10.10.10.249 .10 .10 here. So I'm gonna go ahead and go to that web address, and uh, once once I kind of do that, then we'll, uh, what I'm going to do is go ahead and log into the web interface. Once I log into the web interface, now in my case, my username, I have not changed it from default, so I'm going to go ahead and type in just admin and it's going to prompt me to log in. Also, I'm going to give leave this two, uh, two extra links in the description. These are the most used default username and password on the Canon machine. One is from this open source website and the second is from uh, Canon's knowledge base by itself. So uh, once you kind of log into you, once you kind of log into the website or or your printer's model, uh, you know web interface, then we're gonna go ahead and go to, you know, basically the network settings tab here. So uh, so once once that kind of loads up. Let's click on. Uh, let's go ahead and refresh that page, and we're gonna go go ahead and click on settings and registration. Uh, and once you go ahead and click on this settings and registration, we're gonna go ahead and click on the network settings. Under network settings, uh, we are gonna go ahead and set the SMTP parameters that are needed to uh, to get your scan to email going. So under network settings, then we need to click on email settings. <coughs> All right, so once that loads up, I'm gonna go ahead and pull up uh, uh, the SMTP uh, port numbers and things that you that we need to get this go, you know, go ahead and get working for us. Uh, so it looks like my page is having issue loading here, so I'm gonna refresh that here a second. And once that comes up, then we're gonna go ahead and add those. So right here, once you see this page, go ahead and click on edit. And uh, SMTP server name uh, for Outlook and O365 is going to be uh, smtp.office365.com. So in, in my case, I'm going to go ahead and type in smtp.office365.com. Uh, now email address, whatever email address uh, you want to, you have. your So your this is going to be your personal email address or your work email address. So, uh, so this is my... Uh, Test email address that I'm using. So, Enpatel rocks at outlook.com. Also, we need to enable, uh, you know, basically provide the login information for this email address and the password. So, once you provide the email address, you also need to set, change the password. So, this is the password you log into your Outlook account with. Uh, so, once you kind of set that, you also need to enable uh, use SSL and go ahead and click OK. Now, once you do that, uh, those settings are applied right here as you see. So, it should look like that. Uh, moving fast forward, now we need to go ahead and click on portal. Uh, now if you already have a dress book set up, then it's great. If not, I'm gonna show you that real quick. Go ahead and click on the address book icon. Uh, under the address book icon, you can add a person or a place that you wanna send that email to. So in my case, I have added this, uh, this test email address. So if you wanna add that, all you have to do is basically just click on one of these open icons uh, and then go ahead and click on the email icon. And this is where it's gonna prompt 
prompt you to go ahead and, and load in your uh, you know you name and the email address that where you're going to be sending this mail to so uh, so once you do that that's all you have to do now we're gonna go ahead and do the test test mode so now I'm gonna go to my Gmail account that I just provided uh, to basically show that that the settings that I did just that works so what I'm gonna do now at this moment I'm gonna log into my Gmail account and uh, I'm gonna go to my printer here I'm gonna load up a page called Outlook test 2019 2020 uh, I'm gonna put it on my scan scan top machine uh, turn on the printer click on the scan icon and go to go down to email tab and once you do that go ahead and click on the address book and find find the ad address you just added so in my case that it would be the test user email address so my gmail is kind of loading here it's kind of taking a while but once that once that kind of loads in and we're going to see this live test page coming through so it looks like it's loading right now um, so as soon as that loads in we will we will see that page coming in here all right guys so I'm gonna go ahead and uh, go ahead and scan that page uh, so he, here I just hit start on my machine and it's scanning the page so any moment from now we should be seeing an email coming in from the email address I set which was in Patel rocks at outlook.com to this email address which was added into the address book uh, so give it a few moments here uh, looks like uh, the machine is sending that page now uh, and we'll give it a second looks like uh, one strong solid beep and if you hear that that means that it's good to go so and there you go as you guys can see that uh, attachment arrived and we can go ahead and open that up to show you guys that that is a legit attachment so once that opens up so that is the basic process of how to do this guys also all the links in description will be all the links will be in the description also, uh, there is a detailed video, as I said, that I did for Gmail, which followed each of these steps right here that I mentioned in very detailed. So if you wanna look at that, the link will be on the right-hand corner now. So if, you, if, if you're having any other issues, click on that link, follow through all the steps, and you, can, you guys are all set to go. Again, thanks for watching, guys. We appreciate our co-sponsor, co TrueParkings.com. If you have an open parking spot and you would like to rent that for extra cash, go to TrueParkings.com and go ahead and sign up. All right, guys, that's it for this video. Thanks for watching, and we will talk to you soon. Thanks. Bye.